Once you've purchased the Pro Panel, you'll immediately get to a page where you can click View Content to download the panel. If you miss that, then you can also access it from the email that you received at the time of purchase and click View Content to download the panel and also get your key. The key is also right here in the email. So once you've downloaded the zip file, you're gonna unzip it by double clicking on it. It's gonna expand. So open that folder there and you're gonna see these files here. So the easiest way to install on a Mac is going to be the auto installer. So first you're gonna open up Photoshop and just go to the home screen. Don't open any type of document or anything. Go back to your files, double click on this pro panel manual auto installer, click on this auto installer.jsx file here and just drag it right into Photoshop. It's gonna say you're about to run a script, just click yes. And this box here will pop up. Or alternatively, you can go up here to file and then go to scripts and then browse. And then go to your downloads folder, select the pro panel, open up the manual auto installer. And then you'll see that JSX file there. You can click that and click load. So to do the auto install, you're simply just gonna click auto install here. And then click in the box, you'll see this message and then just click OK. It's going to tell you to restart Photoshop. So you won't immediately see the pro panel here under extensions. You're going to have to go to Photoshop and then quit. And when you reopen up Photoshop and then go up to window and then extensions, you'll see pro panel here. So just click pro panel and it will open up in Photoshop. So here you're going to enter your key. So first you're just going to go back to your email or your downloads page and then highlight the key and then hit Command C to copy it and then go back and then here in the box just Command V to paste. So one thing to note is you cannot type this. So if you type it in, it's going to say that the key is not valid. It has to be copied and pasted. So to do that, use the keyboard shortcut Command C and Command V. And then after you activate, it's going to tell you that the panel was successfully installed and to restart Photoshop. I'm not going to activate this right now because I'm going to show you the manual installation as well. But one quick note, there is an uninstall feature here in the top right corner of the panel, as well as tool tips for you to turn those off and on, and also a button to reset the settings for when you downloaded it. One also thing to note is that you can resize the panel to be skinnier. By default, it shows up wide, and that's because it is designed to translate to different languages, and the languages need to fit on the buttons when the panel is wider. So after you've activated it and then close Photoshop and then reopened, you should see a fully functioning panel. If you don't, then follow the steps in the next part to install it manually. One quick thing to note, if you have a Mac with the new M1 chip in it, then you likely won't see the extensions window here. This is because they left it out in the last update. So I've been told mixed things regarding whether or not that was intentional. I've actually had some people from Adobe say they're gonna bring it back in an update. But regardless, we do have a workaround for now. If you go down to your finder window, Go to your applications, find the Photoshop application, double click on that, and then right click on the icon for the application, and then go to Get Info. And then under this general tab here, simply check Open with Rosetta. I don't have Rosetta here because I don't have an M1 Mac, but you would just click Open with Rosetta, and then close and reopen Photoshop, and you should see the extensions there with the Pro Panel after the install. That being said, the UXP version or the plug-in version of the panel is in production now and will be done very soon, and that will work regardless whether or not Photoshop brings back extensions. If you have any questions about that, just shoot me an email. To do the manual install, similarly, you're gonna open up Photoshop to the home page, but not open up a photo or a document, and then go back to your files and locate the Pro Panel Manual auto installer.jsx file and drag that right into Photoshop. And then click yes, and then open up extensions folders, this time instead to install manually. So click open extensions folders and you'll see these two extensions folders pop up here. So you can really paste the Pro Panel folder in either one of these. I prefer just the one with the other Photoshop. So I'm gonna go back to my Pro Panel files here. I'm gonna right click on the Pro Panel folder, click copy, and then I'm going to paste that right into the extensions folder. So this is gonna ask you for your password or your touch ID. So you need to have administrative privileges on your computer. And then you're simply gonna go up here into Photoshop and then quit Photoshop and then reopen it. And when you go up to window and then extensions, you're gonna see the Pro Panel there. So again, go back to your email with the license key in it, highlight the license key, Command C to copy it, go back to Photoshop and then Command V to paste and then click activate. So this will tell you that you have registered successfully in a restart Photoshop and it will also tell you your user count activations. So quit Photoshop 
And when you reopen up Photoshop, and then now when you go to Window and then Extensions and Pro Panel, you're going to see a fully functioning panel here. And again, you can resize this to be skinnier because this is designed to work with multiple different languages for these buttons. But if you're using it in English, then you can use it in its smallest form here. Again, you can turn off the tooltips by simply going up to the tooltips and turning this off here. And this will turn them off or you can leave them on. They come on by default. And you can also click on this bottom button here in the left corner to watch the videos for the pro panel on the site at any time with the internet connection. Now, for some reason, you did the auto install and the manual install, and neither of those resulted with the panel in Photoshop. The last resort is going to be the ZXP method. One thing to note is that the uninstall might not work for the manual installation, in which case you just open up the extensions folders and then right click on the pro panel folder and then move to trash. And you'll be required to use your password or your touch ID again as well to uninstall that. All right, as mentioned, the last method is going to be the ZXP method. So this is the ZXP file here, and you're going to need a ZXP or an extensions installer. So I like to use Anastasia's extension manager. It's a free download, and then you just click free download here, and then download it for Mac. And then once that's downloaded, locate that in your downloads. Double click on the zip file. And double click on the actual application. And it may prompt you to put in your password. And this is just asking if you want to move it to the applications folder. Yes. And then once you have this extensions manager open, go back to your downloads files in your pro panel folder, and then go and locate this ZXP here. And you can right click that and open with extensions manager. It should be by default. And put your password in one more time. And then this box will pop up saying installation was successful. Please restart Adobe application. And then you should see the panel. If for some reason you have any issues at all with the installation, you can reach out in the chat here on the website or shoot me an email at info at and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks again for buying the Pro Panel. I can't wait to see what you create with it.